Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean for this camera to be out of view, but unfortunately, you can't see the whole thing. Um, I did some big paintings over the weekend and had to figure out a way how to bring them home. So, I didn't videotape making this, but it's not that hard to, to show you. This purple thing is just a big tablecloth from um, Dollar Tree. Okay, and then I've got two pieces of foam board. And it makes a great carrier for your painting. Here is my painting. I just put those two canvases in there because I had nowhere else to put them at. Okay. Let me try to give you somewhat of a close-up of this. Sorry that... See, this is why I did the paintings over at her place. Because of the uh, limited space here. And I'm going back next weekend. Oh, there's some glare. Sorry. My favorite part of the whole thing is... Let me see if I can get my hand underneath it. Is this river right here. I absolutely love that. Because it's... Well, the gold didn't come out, but I think the gold sank. Anyway, let's get to the, the box I made. All it takes... See, these are just cups. All it takes is two pieces of foam board four cups and what you do is hang on I'm trying to get these out of the way where I don't knock them over um all you do is is you hot glue see I, sh I, I didn't show you this because I did it at her place real quick before I left you just hot glue each cup oh that's on the sticker so that's why that's coming loose you just hot glue each cup into the corner now, basically, because this foam, foam board was almost as big as my painting, I had to put the cups all the way out to the side. But you can see it's big enough for it. Because this is a 20 by 30, which with this being a, a 18 by 24, I had two inches left, uh, one inch on either side. And then about three inches on either side, which was plenty of room. And the reason I put down the bottom first is because it's skinnier. So just hot glue the cups to the to the to the uh, corners, and then put your painting in. Then basically all you do is you put this other piece of foam board on top. And you get the, I don't know if I can, uh, okay, I can't get it out of there. But basic, there we go, there we go. Come on, guy. Sorry that my head's blocking it, but I seem to got the tablecloth. Basically, all you're doing is you're just making a little package with the, uh, with the tablecloth. And these tablecloths are big enough that you get an end on each side that you just gather up and you bring it in the middle and then you tie it together and that also makes it a great handle. I wouldn't recommend putting more than one wet canvas in at a time. But I needed a way to get this canvas home to where it wouldn't um, to where it wouldn't shift in the back seat. So here you go. Think of this next time you have to transport a canvas that might be wet. Oh sorry about the, I guess it's the green I guess it's turning green from the purple over it. Anyway, so I hope you like this little uh tip video. I just wanted you to see how I got how I transported a, a semi-wet canvas um home. 
anyway so thank you for watching if you haven't yet please you know hit the subscribe button and hit the uh bell to get notifications of my oh sorry i'm not on camera get notifications of my newest videos um click the thumbs up if you like this video click the share if you want to share it with some people that may not know about or may need to know about this and i love the resin right out of you guys and um all i can say is thank you for watching and bye for now